perfect for for it was perfect. I describe it as like a tennis match. It's like everybody in the room has is bringing their A game, and you know it was like a you know just a volley, very simple, very easy. We fell right into it. No, I didn't you know I didn't know anybody, um, and it was just lovely to sort of be in a space where everybody came open, yeah, and ready to play. And with no, no drama, at all. It was a very entertaining group of people. <laughs> yes, I right. have to say that <laughs> it was, was uh, fun. There were some really fun times on this movie. Tiffany sort of, I felt like, really set the mood for, uh, you know, Tiffany and Rose really set the mood for the. Comes from the top down. Yeah, yeah, it really, it really does come from the top down. And if it's a, and if it's cool people at the top, you can have a good experience. Tiffany and, would have, um, yeah potluck dinners every Sunday at her spot. You know, yeah. that's that's a lovely thing to do to build yeah, that, that, the yeah. spirit and to build camaraderie and you know, it makes it easier when you're when you have to have chemistry on screen. I just, you know, it's a new day. It's a new conversation. It's a conversation that we need to be having and at the forefront, I think women should be running everything. You know, we've had hundreds of years of men mucking it up. So this is a movie that launches that for me. Let them run everything. Wow. wow. I can't wait to leave today and run everything. I can't wait. I did improvise a few lines, and, and some of them made it in, um, but not that, you know, I mean, I recognized two, two lines in the, that I recognized that I uh, threw in there and they made it to the movie, but um, but I, I, I just like that, um, I think Miguel, the director, was just really uh, brilliant, you know, he's done, he did The Good Girl, he's done some great movies, and I do like that he, um, I think he started filming one time when I was just sort of, uh, I didn't know the camera's on, I was sort of filming, I was sort of uh, staring off into the, I don't know, I was staring at like, I'm, you know, some sort of fly on the wall, whatever, and I like that he sort of filmed me doing that and so to, to show, like, you know, how uh, someone who was really not present at certain moments. <laughs> like, I, I don't know, he's sort of a genius that way. You find your tribe when you're open. It doesn't, it happens when it happens. You know what I mean? Like, release the expectation and just be present so that when it shows up, it shows up. I have lots of ride or dies, you know, who I met through. Most of them I met in high school and college, you know, but I've had, a, I've picked up a few along the way outside of that too, you know, yeah. so it's what you're open to, I think. Yeah, I always find that my ride or dies have, there's one like commonality, you know, that you always like, like, the person, like if I'm getting my hair shampooed at like a hair salon and the woman I hit it off with next to me, or, uh, next to me whatever, I always find like um, people I really hit it, hit it off with always have animals. They always have like dog, like they're animal people. And um, and it's always like, it's always sort of comedy people. You know, it's always, co you know, sort of more people with a sense of humor usually. Acting it allows for for one to explore um, other points of view through developing a character that might not necessarily be your own. And I think for myself, well, I know for myself that that's expanded um, my mind and has allowed me to be open in lots of ways that I would otherwise not be had I not been able to experience these people by getting inside of them. Um, uh, no, I, I completely agree with you because I, I think that, you know, if you're an insecure pe person, and, and, you know, I have admitted to people in other interviews that, uh, you know, I sort of am even insecure as an older person still, but I do find that, you see, it's much easier to be an insecure, insecure person in a movie and explore really fully explore what that would feel like. Um, and I mean, it fully sort of admit to it um, than it is to be, you know, an actress admitting to it. <laughs> My phone, um, 
lotion, and lip balm. <laughs> Um, I have this medallion that my dad, you know, my dad passed away a few years ago, but I have a medallion that he got at, uh, when he went to Harvard. It was like, he was, he was a member of this thing called the Speak Club. And um, I keep that in there and I keep, um, I always have to have uh, my peppermint gum and my, um, like you say, the phone and um, a giant hairbrush and, um, and, that's five things. Some vegan chocolate. <laughs> Some vegan chocolate. And, um... They let me know I'm not alone. I can always call and know that when I'm feeling the mo at my lowest and, and the most alone, I am not, actually. I am not alone. <clears throat> yeah. I, you know, I have a... I, I, uh... I was going through something really weird this weekend. I called up this friend of mine, uh, and and they're very young, and I was just sort of, uh, I ended up not wanting to tell them about it, but that somehow I ended up telling them about, about it. And I was sort of blown away that sometimes a very young person, somebody, I mean, actually, young people nowadays are so advanced. They're so above and beyond what, you know, I think of who I was, you know, when I was in my 20s. But this person gave me the most amazing advice, and, um, and, uh, you know, it was really late at night, and they were like, you know, just call me back if you don't feel good. Whatever. And I was just like, this is outrageous. Like, I'm like, <laughs> like this young kid is like giving me advice on how to like, you know, get out of this run. Out of the and it, and babes, it worked, honey, and it worked, and babes. it worked. I didn't have to call him back, but I was just like, kept looking at going, going like, oh my God, this world is changing for the better. I have to say, <laughs> these young people are these going to- These little whippersnappers. These, they are, um, well, I've, I'm very, very uh, excited about the new generation coming up the pike. They are really exceptional. Where is the buzz? Oh, yeah. Where is the buzz you said we was mine? Wow. 